Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and thank you for joining me for another plan with me. Um, this is week one of March in my B6 Stylogy. So I did already do like a f um, setup video and I've changed up my cover in my Lauren Phelps designs. Um, vinyl clear cover. I just absolutely love this postcard that I picked up from um a stationery shop in the uk called paper chase um i just love like the pears and the fruits and the dusty rose and um yeah so um last week so the very last plan with me i did was obviously where i was doing like a weekly layout and then i was just doing like a list per day and that actually worked out really well for me because um i didn't need like a lot of space on every single day but um it did give me like a little bit of extra space at the bottom to write notes um but yeah just that space to write lots of lists was really really handy um i'm anticipating like another similar week where i do have like a lot of things that i need to get done so what i was thinking is instead of doing like a weekly layout um and then having daily pages, which I did really like this. Um, I I don't know. I think I'm just like playing around with different layouts that I've done previously. And um, yeah, so instead of doing that, I'm going to do, I think, a day per two page. Um, so I'll do like a time daily on this side and then listing on this side um because yeah i have counted out the pages and i have you know more than enough pages so um that way i can get like the best of both i can see my timed like events on one side and list on the other so before i start i am going to put this march sticker just because i put these like on um the first page of all my like the first the first of every month I put a sticker on it because it's not always like a Monday um February and March obviously ha are Mondays but sometimes it's like um for example April I think it's going to be like a Thursday or Friday so um instead of like separating my week I just put a little sticker there to say what month we're in and I think I'm going to use these header stickers from Happy Scrappy because they're just very beautiful and um, kind of like purpley pink and green. My, if you saw my setup video for this um, month, it is very, very green, um, which it's just my monthly setups are always a little bit, you know, color coordinated. And then the rest of the weeks are less so. But I think these are vinyl stickers. I love them and love the hollow foil and before I forget I am going to take out my uh, numbers from Little Ida's notebook so that I can use them the whole month and not have random numbers left. Okay, so I am using a fountain pen this week. This is the Twisby Eco in Extra Fine, I think. Nope, just fine. And it has this really beautiful ink, if I can find it, called Enchanted Ocean. And it has, it's supposed to be like this shimmery blue colour, but obviously because I'm using like a very like a much finer nib the shimmer doesn't quite come through um i think you need like a bit of a broader nib for that but it's still a really nice color um so yeah when i'm using a fountain pen 
excuse me, I just had like a random coughing fit. Um, I do have to use, I do have to be like extra careful when I'm writing to kind of just give it a second to dry so that it doesn't smear, which yeah, is one of the downsides of using a fountain pen, but I do love them. So kind of what I've, the first thing I, I do as always is just mark out our homeschool hours and I am going to make a bit more of an effort to get started on time just because i feel like january february um probably december as well was pretty relaxed and um it's it's not a problem to start later but i think like the lockdown we're kind of being phased out of the lockdown um next week like schools are back not this week but the week after i think the 8th or something schools are back which means some of our timed activities like sports and piano might also be back um so if that's the case we can't really afford to like be doing school at two three o'clock in the afternoon um so because that's like we'd have like back to piano lessons and stuff so just trying to get the kids and myself i guess back into a little bit of a routine again um and my idea for like this week on uh, day on two pages is that I can use like, you know, go kind of not sticker crazy, but be free, more free um, with stickers on this side of the page, my timed. But then I need my list to just be like a list, basically. Um, so that's like one of the advantages, I guess, of having a day on two page is that you can split up. Um, not that I, you know, could also, like I couldn't just have tons of stickers on here because then it also would become like quite chaotic for me and I wouldn't be able to see our plans. Um, but definitely more freedom to use stickers, I guess. And then I do have these, so these homeschool stickers I made, as well as these to-do headers I also made myself. And um, I am just going to randomly put them on the middle of the page without worrying about if they're all on the same. Like sometimes I count out like whereabouts I've put them, but I'm just not that fussed this week. And they will just go kind of anywhere I probably do need to cut some more stickers soon as well because uh, I think a lot of the ones that I've done are like very blue purple but kind of like darkish colors like very galaxy-ish colors and I would like some lighter colors for spring um, definitely for April some lighter pastel -y blues and stuff so I will cut some more stickers. Then I do want to make sure I am working out again before um, the kids sort of wake up and get ready for the day. I was doing so well for the first um, two weeks of February. I was working out every single day and then we had like a half term break and I thought, OK, you know what, I'll do some yoga or something instead of resistance training. And it didn't happen. And then I thought to myself, OK, that's fine. Like, you, you know, it's no problem. You took a week off. Now I'll just get back into it. But it didn't happen. And it kind of like has been two weeks now that I haven't worked out at all. And I just don't really feel good, like mentally, physically just in general if I am not working out um, and I do put work out every single day even though like my resistance like main resistance training is only three days a week um well in February I was doing like five but this month it will just be three days a week and then the rest of the time like uh Tuesday and Thursday I would do like yoga or pilates or something like that um so yeah kind of fell off the bandwagon but just not beating myself up about it at all and I think I want to remove that because it just looks too sticker heavy on that side and move it to here maybe that's better so just have a look at my monthly and see what we have going on 
So basically Monday, I just need to make a note to check that my pay has come through. So I just put here, um, check bank. And then I have a grocery delivery between two and three, and I might use a sticker for that. I think I probably need to top this up with my, like I have keep all my main stickers in my accordion folder. Ah, oh, that's a good reminder. I actually need to call my daughter's ortho, orthodontist because one of her braces is broken and she hasn't been seen in like over a year now. So I'm a bit concerned. Um, but yeah, I probably need to top this book up. There's like some empty slots that I need to just fill in. Not, I don't think so much in here, but in this one, there's quite a few empty um, things. Which one shall I use? Um... I think I might go for this today. I do really love these. I think they're from a, an old shop called The Planner Junkie. I'm not sure if she's still open. So two to three. Oh, I have to go pick that up because I was a little bit late booking the slots this time. Um, so yeah, I have to go. It's not far though, just like a 10 minute drive. Tesco pick up. I'll put that in capitals so I don't get complacent because normally I just have to like it's just a delivery. Um, and then my husband's shifts I will put on as well. So he's normally supposed to be working Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday night, Friday night, but he's off Tuesday, Wednesday because he's got training on Thursday. So I will just make a note here. So he's on a day shift then. And then again here as well. Uh, and I hope I have got those dates right. I'll uh, see what happened there. I should have left that for a bit to dry, you can see. Anyway, um, if that bothers me too much, I will tipex that out um then let's see what else have we got going on so thursday that's kind of it really um in terms of like major appointments and that so thursday i've got a couple of things which is um at six o'clock i have a zoom conference so i'll put that on Okay, and I will just put the details on there as well. Um, okay, and um, there is also a um, homeschool challenge which is like a day in the life that I'm taking part in this month um, so I just need to remember to kind of post pictures and videos on Instagram for that and then that's it so the, the rest of the stuff will just be things like um, every day to day stuff that will just get my little calendar thing out um, so I will probably just go through this list and like start writing out some stuff actually I feel like that's leaked through from the other side which is so bizarre because this pen doesn't normally leak on the Stalogy paper that is strange anyway if that continues to happen I probably will just switch out my pen but that is very strange that that happened Not very neat and tidy, as you can tell. Um, yeah, so let me just go through my um, list and just write stuff out and then I'll be back. 
So that's kind of it really guys um i've sort of done as much as i can i will sort of like go through my week today and just see like um if there's anything outstanding that i need to bring forward like especially from today like today is all my sort of end of month tasks um like end of month review and then like transferring photos and things like that but i don't always get it done on the, on the last day of the month <laughs> Um, so whatever I don't get done, I will just migrate to sort of like a quietish day where I don't have much going on. Um, I haven't put like put down my work hours yet, like kind of slots that I'm going to um, get some emails and things done. I will just figure that out with my husband because um, I do have quite a lot going on. I'm just this um i've mentioned before like there's a case in italy i'm working on and then there's like a new case that's come up in the uk as well that needs my attention and then i have like a whole bunch of um grading essays for like trainee job protection officers um to do so i have to fit that in this week um but yeah that's kind of it this is just like a list i made from like screenshots on my phone of things i needed to remember um whatever i've like crossed off it just means it's been allocated a day to get that done um well actually i did add this as well and i will just go over the rest of them this evening and actually there's only two one is a font that um pasha um like used on her instagram page and i really liked it so i wanted to check it out and then there's a giveaway that i wanted to also take a look at so yeah that's kind of it guys um sort of a busy week and it'll definitely fill up as the days go on getting some chocolates delivered um on monday i just got a text from royal mail um lindor have got like the lint chocolate the I'm not a fan of like chocolate that's just chocolate. I prefer like if it's got nuts or something in it, like Ferro Rocher. But um, I did see that there is um, an online shop called the Chocolate Emporium and they do like so many um, weird random flavours of chocolates that I yeah wanted to try out. So that's something to look forward to. So that's it guys thank you so much for joining me and if you have any questions comments um drop them in the comments section below and if you like this video please be sure to give it a thumbs up i will see you next time take care guys bye